So again, the key to applying integration by substitution is to identify an inside function or embedded function where whose derivative can account for the outside x parts. So in example three here, we have sine long x over x dx. We always try to look in for an embedded function because that's how we generate our chain rule pieces. So in this case here, we're gonna make our let statement. We're gonna let u equal the inside function log x. And then we, we generate the derivative. So du by dx is equal to one over x. And then I move the dx to the other side. And notice that the derivative accounts for the outside remaining part. So this part here, that's not part of the original embedded function is accounted for by that derivative. So then we can rewrite this integral in terms of u. So when I do the substitution, I'm gonna end up with sine of the inside function, which we're just gonna call u. And then we're gonna replace the one over dx with a du. And again, now we have an integral with a variable u in terms of a du. So we can just integrate and anti-differentiate this normally. So this becomes negative cosine of u plus c. Okay, and then we want to express this with an x. So we're going to replace the u with the original log x. And this is the antiderivative of the original function. So again, we're going to check this by differentiating. So I'm going to differentiate d by dx of negative cosine log x plus c. When I differentiate this, the derivative of negative cos is going to be positive sine of log x. And then because we're differentiating inside function, we need to multiply by its derivative, the derivative of the inside function is one over x. So we end up with the original expression that I started with. So this must be, since we differentiated this into the original function, the antiderivative of that sine log x over x dx must be negative cos log x.